Today we're talking about a new DC to DC converter that could revolutionize the flow of energy. And this one's not just a theory. The researchers have actually patented it and they are working with a startup to commercialize it. So listen up. The new technology addresses some of the common issues that are pretty widespread in our current electrical power systems, particularly around the integration and efficiency of DC sources such as solar panels, EVs, batteries. Now the new converter solves a few problems. Before we talk about that, I'm gonna tell you about the problems that it solves. For starters, inefficient energy conversion. Traditional power grids typically use alternating current. Right? But many modern energy sources and storage solutions like solar panels generate direct current. That mismatch requires an AC to DC conversion when integrating these DC sources into AC grids. But these conversions are often inefficient and then they result in significant energy loss. This new converter technology reduces the need for such conversions by efficiently managing DC power directly, therefore saving energy and enhancing overall system efficiency. Okay, what other problems does it solve? There's also voltage compatibility issues. The new DC to DC converter efficiently handles varying voltage levels from different sources, adapting dynamically to different devices without needing all that complex multi-step conversion technology. Then there's system complexity and stability. The new technology simplifies and stabilizes power systems using diverse energy sources by integrating features such as self-balancing of inductor currents and asymmetrical duty limit control, reducing complexity and enhancing reliability. And finally, it solves the issue of bi-directional energy flow. Our modern energy systems require bi-directional flow of power, especially those that involve batteries and electric vehicles. They need this for charge and discharge, right? Traditional converters often have limitations in managing this bi-directional flow of energy, but the new converter allows for efficient bi-directional energy conversion. This is gonna be crucial for EVs and for energy storage systems. Okay, but enough already. What is it? Tell us about this breakthrough, right? That's what you're saying. Basically, a group of Japanese researchers created this power converter, and it's really standing out for its unprecedented efficiency, reaching up to 98.3%. The converter can interface seamlessly with a variety of power sources. So we're talking, we're talking solar power, EVs, stuff that typically relies on direct current, right? Like we mentioned before, those traditional systems that require AC, there's some inefficient AC to DC conversion going on here, right? But not anymore. This new converter design facilitates more efficient energy management by eliminating the need for these conversions when used in DC microgrids. The new converter has some pretty noteworthy features. First, it's good at handling different voltage levels. The converter adjusts on the fly, so it's super flexible, right? Second is asymmetrical duty limit control, basically a smart way to manage how the converter handles power. This also boosts its efficiency. And lastly, there's something in the converter called self-balancing of inductor currents. Think of it like a balancing app that keeps the system stable and straightforward, reducing any hiccups. For electrical engineers, this new converter means a shift toward more adaptive and efficient power distribution systems. Engineers will need to integrate such technologies into existing grids, which will challenge them to innovate in the ways that energy is stored, converted, and used. And like we said, the researchers have already filed for patent. They're working on commercialization with a, um, a startup in Japan. And in the meantime, they're gonna fine tune the technology, keep refining it, getting it better and better so it can achieve higher power densities. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, read e design it, come back every week, we'll be here.